expect our meeting not to be a coincidence. For you see, we created the most relaxed trading card game in the world. And now that you're here, we might as well enjoy games it. Yes, I'm afraid time is short, so let the games begin. Take a look at the cards in your hand. I suggest you play one of your monster cards face down in a free position, and I'll see if I can beat it. A face down monster in your center position. Great! Now it's my turn. To face your monster, I'll play the Pony Fire Witch. And I increase her score by stacking a power card to her. Pony Witch, attack! But the highest score always wins. But when you attack a face down card, it becomes a game of deceit and chances. When you lose your monster, you lose a piece of yourself too. When either of us runs out of lives, it's game over. <laughs> it's your turn again. So you draw until you hold five cards. May I suggest you play that power card you've just drawn to the strongest monster in your hand and see if you can beat my only witch. Janus of the Stars. How on earth will you ever draw that card from your deck? Huh, <laughs> no matter. She's powered up quite a bit, so you might just want to give it a go. She takes flight and destroys. Very well. Looks like you're getting the hang of it. But you're facing quite the opponent today. I play the Lord of the Underworld, Diggles, the face Janus of the Stars. With a score of 1600, he's by far not strong enough to destroy Janus. Neither does he have any power card slots. But I'm not done yet. I play the Skull Sky Dragon in my right position. And to him, I stack the power card, Curse of Power. Curse of Power makes sure all score increasing power cards now deduct score. Rendering Janus of the Stars vulnerable to an open attack. I am afraid we have to end the game in time, but I'm quite sure we'll meet again soon. It's always a pleasure to see you again.